Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome to The Dysfunction. That is this family. Guys, I have not sat in my room and filmed an intro like this in such a long time. It has been quite a long time, but I am back. Happy 2019, happy beginning of a new year. And today I am coming to you with something that I know you guys love for me to film and I have been waiting to film this video for quite some time. I got some, I got some stuff to say. But for today's video I'm going to be doing a huge loft haul slash review. I don't know if you guys know about this but loft is a clothing store. I believe they're owned by like Ann Taylor and they have for the longest time only had straight sizes and recently I want to say within the last like two years maybe um loft has come out with their plus size line which is just loft plus um and uh, my family my mom and my sister and like everyone else in my family have been going crazy over it so I was like let me let me take a look let me check the tea let me see what loft has going on so I can talk to you guys about it because I want you to know all the cool new fashion stores to check out that sells plus size stuff for my curvy gals out there who want some cute trendy you know nice little preppy but also like sassy clothes but want to know if they're gonna fit so that is what this video is going to be about if you guys have not already though go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to give this video a like if you enjoy hauls or reviews and comment down below where are some other stores you guys want for me to do more reviews or hauls on because I am in desperate need of some new clothes so all right so to start this off I want to first talk about my overall opinion on loft and kind of like how I felt shopping the site talking at customer service, looking at reviews, so on and so forth. So overall, if I had to rate Loft, I would probably give it a solid 8 out of 10. I think Loft is a really, really great alternative. If you guys are a huge fan of like Lane Bryan style things, but you kind of want a more fresher look on stuff, definitely check out Loft. I think Loft brings a very nice, youthful, colorful, professional look while also still being able to be casual. I personally, when I first saw Loft, I was like, I am not going to be a fan of this. It's not going to be a store that I think I am going to get much finds out of, find that many things. And while looking and shopping and going through the site, I realized that they have lots and lots of cute stuff. Price point wise, I would have to say that Loft is very similar to Lane Bryan and Torrid and their regular priced items. Most items from Loft are going to range anywhere from, I believe their jeans go from like $54 to $80 and then their shirts can go anywhere from 20 to like 40 so very similar to Lane Bryan and Torrid pricing. However, you guys know, your girl Kayla, your girl Kay Bakes is a bargain B, okay? I live for those deals and steals. I hit up the clearance before I go anywhere. You got a sale, I'm your gal. And Loft's sales. <sighs> Ooh, child. He's always, always having some type of promotion. And I'm not talking about a Tory promotion where it's like, hmm, we're going to give you like buy one, get one 50% off or like buy one, get one 40% off or like Tory has a deal where it's like buy four more, get 40% off, which I'm like, I don't, he, honey, wait, no, Loft's promotions on their sales, not even their regular price, their sales is ridiculous guys absolutely positively ridiculous and that right there is why loft gets an 8 out of 10 because if it stayed within the price range of like torrid lane bryan i couldn't afford that i am a broke college kid i am a struggling 21 year old i don't got my bank rolls in like that youtube adsense ain't paying my bills but I can afford loft sales and so can you guys. Loft 
sales are constantly having a promotion. I think recently over the Christmas holiday, their sales was an additional 60% off. On top of the fact that all of their clearance. Y'all ready for this? $15 and under. What? Hey, loft sales are outrageously so cheap and it's cute stuff and it's stuff that you wouldn't even think should be on sale like yeah they have their summery things on there but they also have like their fall and like early winter collection on sale right now matter of fact let me check my email let me let me see what loft has as their promotion right now Be loft has extra 50 percent off of all sale items Fifty percent does something like oh, I live for loft sales sections. I stay in loft sales section, and I get some super cute things off of loft sales section, which brings me to the haul and everything. And yes, without further ado, I have rambled on way too much. I'm going to take a drink of my Aquafina. Let's get into the haul. Starting off because it is at the top of my pile and I have a mini pile of stuff that I've bought recently from Loft. I don't have everything. I went crazy with their denim and I'm gonna literally I kind of want to do an entire video comparing like Loft denim to like Lane Bryant denim to Torrid denim. Let me know if you guys would be into that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um but to because it's at the top of my pile, I'm going to go over the skirt that I got from Loft. I got two skirts recently from there. I have purchased, I think, a total of... One, two, three... Five. I've purchased five skirts from Loft. And of those five skirts, I have only loved two of them. So, the two that I've been obsessed with. The first one is this plaid skirt. It is so cute and girly and very clueless-esque. I don't know. I think it was adorable. It is a very long waist. And then on the bottom, it has these little ruffles. It is this, like, plaid and very, very light blue and black and pink and, like, gray checkered skirt. And I just, I don't know. I saw this and I fell so in love with it. Again, it really gives me clueless vibes. I have been very obsessed with, like, the preppy girl look and I paired this with this really long black cardigan that I had and a black turtleneck I believe um with some tights and some booties and I really want to get some like thigh high boots you know <laughs> if you guys have any recommendations of where you can get like over the knee or thigh high boots for my larger gals please please let me know because I am on the hunt I need it that I got is for the longest time I have been so against denim skirts I just didn't see the point of them I thought they were so like 2002 and I know you guys are probably like Kayla you're literally an ensign so do you know that 2002 I was around and I know denim skirts were not it so I was very against them but I have been looking and looking and looking for a denim skirt and I found the denim skirt I'm going to show you guys on Loft's website and I fell in love and it was originally I want to say like $59 and it went on sale i got it during that like additional 60 percent off of items that are like 15 and under i don't know it was a freaking mind-boggling sale guys like i cannot stress that enough but i found the skirt and i read the reviews and every review said it ran larger and i was like yes score because i had got a different denim skirt from loft and that one i also couldn't breathe in i could put it on I couldn't breathe so this is my pride and joy guys this skirt oh it's so cute oh my god so it is this dark rinse denim skirt it has these like bronzy colored buttons that just say loft on it and then it has these pockets that do open they are functioning pockets like my fingers in there but this is like a true to fit denim skirt and guys you got some stretch in there not a lot 
but some. It is a very breathable skirt, which I'm obsessed with. Um, on me, I don't have a torso, so all my skirts come up past my belly button. And I just think it is such a cute fit. It does have butt pockets, which makes me really happy because I am constantly putting my hands in my back pockets. And butt pockets make your butt look really, really good. So, all in all, this skirt is so adorable. I believe I paid the same amount that I paid for the other skirt, which is like six or seven bucks, but I'm super obsessed in it. I did size up and get this skirt in a 26, and I will say in the waist, it is a little big. That is my only problem with the skirt. Throughout the hips and the stomach, it fits really, really well, and I'm honestly okay with the thing a little bit bigger in the waist just because... because what? I was about to stutter. Just because there are buttons going down the center and I don't want those buttons to like split, you know? Um, so because of that, I'm okay with it being a little bit big. Loft tops are very much so, again, that hit or miss for me. They have some very cute tops, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of cute styles, but there are also some things that I'm just like, eh, this isn't my cup of tea i don't really know it's not my style like lately i've been very into like retro looks very 80s 90s early 2000s i know i'm hopping on the bandwagon i purchased a pair of dad sneakers i hate myself too but <laughs> i have been very very into that style that trend and loft things they have very cute stuff that if i wanted to wear going out with like girls or going to the brunch or Doing stuff like that, I would, but then they have other things that I'm like, sweetie, where are you going with this? Um, but I'll let you guys be the judge. So my two favorite tops right now, one of them I posted an Instagram picture, which follow me on Instagram if you don't already, at Kayla Baker. It is in the link down below. I say do it. Um, yes, let me show you guys the tops. So the first top that I got, like I said, I did post it in an Instagram picture, is this very pretty pleasant, peasant, pleasant, peasant blouse. This is such an adorable top, guys. I really, really liked it. When I saw it on the model, I was like, oh my god, I need that for me. These style tops look very good on me because, like I said, I am a bustier girl, but I don't have a torso. So long tops look, like, very long and awkward on me, but tops that stop right at my hip actually makes me appear slimmer and it glistens over my stomach but make my hips look curvy so we get that like you know hourglass finger um but this top was so pretty it's in this pale like millennial blush pink which is my shade right now and then it has these flowers all over it and then it just ruffles on the bottom it is very much so a baby doll peasant tea style um, the arms billow out and then it just clasps on the bottom with this little button, which I thought was just super, super cute. Um, I wore these with a pair of loft jeans and like these Sam Edelman booties. I'll try to insert the photo like somewhere over here, but yes, I saw these. I got obsessed with these. I love these. These are my pride and joy and so adorable. So love that. Live for that. Love it for us. Um, well, um, my rule of thumb is uh, Kayla's pro tip, if you are a bustier gal, size up, have it fit a little bit bigger in the waist and just tuck it in somewhere, but at least you know you're getting that support that you need for the girls because if the girls aren't happy, no one's happy. Auto, kind of like with the peasant tee, it was just like I need to have it. It is this black, I thought it was navy on the model, but it's black with white and like tan like taupey color stripes all over it and then it like just billows out into the same kind of like little cluspy sleeves it is a true wrap top and then it ties around the waist and guys it is so cute i did get this size or get this in a size 26 um realistically i probably could have gotten it in a 24 and it would have fit just as fine um but for wrap tops i get very nervous purchasing them just because again i am a bustier girl and wrap tops will either make my boobs look great or they will make them look like they are being strangled so sizing up was the way to go um I just thought this was so so cute it was so pretty just so like feminine and adorable and I was just obsessed with it made it to the last thing I'm going to talk about in my loft haul slash review and that is the denim portion so I go through the 
biggest of big struggles when it comes to finding jeans. For a very long time, I was getting my jeans from Old Navy, but then Old Navy didn't go up as high as I needed, and Old Navy's plus size line apparently for whatever reason the designers there think that all plus women have calves the size of ham hocks so couldn't do that because i don't and we're not even going to get into it so then i moved on to lane bryant and for a long time lane bryant jeans were okay but i noticed they overstretch a lot and they stretch out very quickly and they didn't keep their structure they weren't like that true denim that i was looking for then I got introduced to the wonderful world of Torrid. And for a very long time, I did wear Torrid jeans. All the jeans I wore came from Torrid. I was also working on Torrid at that time, so it wasn't the worst. Um, but for Torrid's price point, their jeans are flipping expensive. And the thing that makes me upset, specifically about Torrid's distressed jeans, and I notice I'm not the only one that has felt with this, Tell me if you guys have also dealt with this too, but towards distressed jeans, they tend to not rip out, but rip up. And they do this very quickly. I know I've had two or three pairs of distressed jeans from Torrid, and they'll rip over wear, like natural wear and tear. And instead of ripping out, like most normal jeans will, the elastic and the fabric and the way that the fabric is designed and stitched will instead have it rip up and out my leg instead of ripping to the outside seams it goes up towards my crotch and there has been many a times where i have gotten in the car and a pair of toward boyfriend jeans or toward skinny jeans that aren't oversized i mean that aren't too small for me and they have ripped like ripped okay point of no return ripped and I'm like that's okay because then my mom told me while I was hunting down for jeans living in leggings she was like Kayla and I was like yes mom and she was like sweetie why don't you check out loft jeans and so I did and I have found my favorite place to get jeans ever at loft on sale follow with me here so I'm just gonna show you guys three of like the 12 pairs of jeans I got from loft I am NOT a jean girl for the longest time I was just not a denim girl denim was very uncomfortable for me I hated that they would wear out in the thighs because we're not a thigh gap family here and I just wasn't the biggest fan and then I tried loft jeans and it changed the game so let me show you guys some starting off one of my favorite pair that i got is this mid rinse denim jeans and from the front they don't look that special you know they're just your standard loft jeans they have some pretty nice pockets on their standard blue jeans until until you get to the bottom oh my god diggity dang the detailing on these jeans they have these like um i can't think of the name of them they're like uh, little prints they're like flirts to something kind of like what the louisiana states have on their like uh, helmets they're um, uh, stop a wear ahead but guys these jeans are so cute they come with this like stitching the stitching is in the same shade as the denim which i was like oh my gosh but it's so pretty it comes cuffed like that i saw these and lost my ish and then if you fold it down this is what it looks like folded down so if you really wanted to you probably could undo the stitching to wear it folded down however i keep it folded up and i always hands down forever and always get compliments on these jeans when i wear it because of the stitching of them they're so cute they are very much so a boyfriend jean again i have smaller calves and like ankles so this is pretty roomy but i'm not mad at it i thought these were the cutest possible pair i got these in a size 26 my only issue with loft jeans is stick with the rule of thumb of sizing up i i can't even say this with loft jeans because really i have this with all of my jeans but um 
all the jeans that I buy, it fits, it has to size up so that it fits through the hips and the butt, but it's always a bit too big in the waist and that sucks. But other than that, these jeans are nice, very, very nice. They do stretch out, they do have quite a bit of stretch. So this is like a 26 normal and then you get an extra like two inches on here. So my girls that are between a size 26, 28, you can squeeze into these bad boys. They do stretch and they will stretch but they are the most comfortable as pair of jeans ever models are like five eight five nine six foot so it's gonna fit them right for me it doesn't but that's okay um but yes these are in a size 26 they are these typical like kind of distressed light rinse jeans um they have some distressing on the front some on the back with the like little butt and stuff which guys all the loft jeans have fully functioning pockets which never happens on women jeans torrid doesn't have that but that's okay um the thing that i really liked about these though again are also on the bottom and look at these these are these really cute like uh, double cuffed frayed jeans so they're frayed on both sides they're like a double frayed like that um I would have to wear some type of like heel with it to get the look that I'm going for just because the pants are like a little bit too long on me or I would have to like cuff the jean which I really don't want to do uh realistically I could probably get it like hemmed but it's so cute though like they're insanely adorable and I am so obsessed with them I love the frame of it I thought it was so cute and just fun and quirky and again they do have some stretch to them so you get like guys this is like ooh stretchy you get your stretch out of these okay so the last pair i'm going to show you i wear the hell out of these i will not lie to you because i haven't seen a style like this and i'm so obsessed with them so this is a pair of light wrench jeans these are a light wash and uh, they just look like this, you know, your stereotypical light wrench jeans have a little bit of fraying on the bottom. And then, guys, the real magic happens on the side. What? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So they have this, like, uh, tuxedo-esque style on the side of the pants, which literally gives you the most pristine figure I've been wearing these with these like tall riding boots I got from Torrid tucked in with like a bodysuit and then a nice little leather jacket. Oh honey, you are looking not like a snack but a seven course meal, sweetie. Okay. Oh, her. Cardi, I'm coming for you. Something that I... <sighs> For the longest time, I was obsessed with dresses. I am such a girly girl in that sense. I love dresses. They're so comfortable to put on. They're flowy. They're breezy. They're perfect. And I had stopped buying dresses for a while because I couldn't find a store that sold dresses that I liked. And not only that I liked, but looked good on me. Dresses at Lane Bryan were always too mature in a way. And they just weren't styles that I enjoyed. Dresses from Torrid was just we're gonna we're gonna do a whole little segment about Torrid at some video because Torrid you have not been killing it you have not been doing me right and I'm very upset about it but I stopped buying dresses I actually stopped buying clothes because I couldn't find anything that I liked and then Loft came and Loft freaking delivered with these dresses guys oh my god okay wow just wow so loft came with this super cute super adorable floral dress that literally just like flows it's so light and airy and perfect for the spring or the summer and i'm just like like, I can see myself going wine tasting in this dress. Like, literally, let me put on a cute little, like, uh, Panama hat and we'd be Audi 500. I am so obsessed with this dress. It is this black square neck dress. So, at first, I thought, because it has the, like, ruching on the arms, so you can wear it off the shoulder. But the model has it up so that it's, like, square. 
I personally think you can wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to, but mm, to each his own. But I just thought this was so pretty. It is these like little paisley like roses on there and then the arms, guys. Oh my god, my big arm gals, you know I always have to represent for you. Loft is hands down, big arm gals friendly. If you got some bat wings, if you got some chicken wings, if you got a little extra cushion to your pushing on your arms, Loft has you covered. And I love that. I cannot tell you how many times I have purchased something from a store and have just felt so uncomfortable because my arms do not fit right. And Loft has not done me wrong. So this is perfect for my larger armed gals. This is so cute. It is like this, uh, I want to say crepe material. And then it has this extra fabric like detailing on the arms. And it is just so pretty. I saw this and I showed my mama. My mom was like, oh, you look gorgeous. And I was like, I know. So I don't know. I was really, really obsessed with this dress. It does come with a little tie belt to just tie it around the waist and give it some definition and the belt has the same texture detailing that the arms does so i thought that was super adorable um i did get this in a size 26 kind of the same way i do with my shirts i always size up in dresses just because i am hippier and some dresses will fit me like a bodycon when they shouldn't this was not the case realistically again i probably could have sized down in this dress if i wanted to but i like how roomy and like relaxed it is and i believe i only paid like five dollars for this particular dress and i'm like obsessed with it guys like literally obsessed with this just dropped everything okay so this next dress you guys can see the hanger you can see it's yellow let me just start by saying i am not a fan of the color yellow until recently and i realized bright yellow neon yellow not a fan of marigold yellow though lemon yellow i have a lemon candle burning it smells so good i love it i love it a lot it's amazing and this dress I saw this dress and I screamed. I literally screamed. I was like, I need you on my body right now. This dress has me so excited for spring and summer because I literally just, I can already picture the Instagram picture I'm gonna take in this dress. Oh my God, okay, let me show you. So this dress is a beauty, okay? It is a true wrap dress. When I say a true wrap dress, I mean, this is not a fake wrap dress. This is a the wind blow the wrong way and you are flashing everyone. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. This dress is so pretty. It is this marigold yellow. It has these fluttery sleeves. I have it on a hanger because I literally don't want to ruin it. So it is just so, so pretty. It comes with this little belt and then it does like all of the other loft wrap items, which I will say I like more than Tord's because Tord doesn't give you this option. It does clasp so the girls stay fit. My dad just left. Um, so pretty. And it has like these white flowers over it. And then it has some pale pink flowers on it. And I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. I also love the fact that this is like a midi length style. I just, I thought this was just so cute. And I do still have the tag attached to this one because I haven't worn it yet. So this dress originally retailed for $80. I paid $5.95. What? Oh my God. That is. That's such a steal. And I love it. This dress is everything that dreams are made of. And I get to live out my kindergarten teacher vibes in this dress with no reason. We have finally made it to the end of the video. So yeah, that is my honest loft haul slash review. Overall, I can definitely tell you that there is going to be a lot more loft hauls coming. I gotta say loft is up there loft has taken the throne the mantle of stuff i am obsessed with they are just so good and so nice and i am like 
in love with their price points especially their sale items it is outrageously like cheap to me and there's always some type of promotion some type of deal going on so you guys should definitely check it out but if you guys did enjoy this video again please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this comment down below where some other stores you guys want me to do this with i have had my eye on fashion nova for a while i gotta work up the courage to buy some things from there because i'm just like i want to check you out but i don't know I don't, I don't know, I don't know, we got to see, we got to see. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing 2019. I hope you guys are able to go out and live your best life and just love every second of it. And I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.